What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Equal Espresso, and welcome to today's video. Now, today we've got some advanced warfare news and information for all you guys. Today we're going to be talking about the build of the game. What I mean by this is the engine and the ports of the game that we'll be seeing in Advanced Warfare. So let's start out with the bigger of the two bold statements that Advanced Warfare has recently made. A brand new engine. We all know that we've been told this before that the new Call of Duty title would be a brand new engine. Even last year we were told it would be something completely new, no similarities to previous games, but looking back at it, Ghost was a carbon copy of the Quake 3 Infinity Ward engine. Even if you don't pay attention to the engine formats or know how all of it works, you could definitely feel similarities from Ghost to previous Infinity Ward titles. That's one thing that engines can bring is the actual feel of the game. But keeping it relative to Advanced Warfare, it's only logical to be skeptical with the empty promises we've heard a million times before, right? Well, from what Sledgehammer stated, it is entering the next generation of consoles and is building Call of Duty in a fashion as others but has been built from scratch to make it almost unrecognizable emphasis on the last portion of that sentence that I just stated now as I stated before previous titles were based off the quake engine this now can open the rumor that I previously reported on hearing for more investigation that rumor being that sledgehammer licensed out the crytek engine for advanced warfare while it's all speculation the crytek engine could do revolutionary things for the franchise much of those things being what all people love improved graphics Crytek is what powered Crisis, one of the games that PC gamers love to compare to see who can run it on the best settings. While its fully optimized state requires a lot of hardware, the output is absolutely amazing. So with the full focus on next gen, on the end of Sledgehammer, this could be a viable option. Quake has been heavily outdated for years now, as it was an engine optimized for best playing on earlier previous generation consoles, but with consoles that can now output much more on next gen, it'd be a perfect time for a Switch and a fresh start. Now, while we can focus on next generation consoles all day here, what about our current generation consoles? Players on Xbox 360 and PS3, you can't be left out, can you? There's still a large amount of players still residing on them. While I can't say it's the majority or not, it's a large amount. That's all right though, it was recently confirmed that High Moon Studios will be handling the ported versions of this game. Sledgehammer is full force focusing on Xbox One, PS4, and PC. That can be seen in the reveal trailer, teased images, and all that kind of stuff that we've seen already. And that wasn't even the fully optimized form of the game. So for those on current gen, it may seem like a topic of worrying, but that shouldn't be the case. There will be a Call of Duty on 360 and PS3 this year, and I guarantee that it will play phenomenally as does every single Call of Duty coming out in the next year, upping the NA to one up the previous year's title. Now, earlier in the year, March, if I'm correct, we got a hint from High Moon Studios listing a job in which they stated they were working on a high profile FPS game for the 360 and PS3, but we didn't know what that game was at the time. Well, now we do. It's Advanced Warfare. Will we see drastic differences in current generation to previous generations? Most likely only because of hardware limitations, but will it play the same and be phenomenal? Absolutely. It will be the same game, just down scaled a bit for optimization that can fit with current gen consoles. On a totally unrelated note though, I guarantee that Treyarch's next release in 2015 will be the first next generation exclusive title the franchise will have. We see the start of the gap pulling away here with Sledgehammer and a conscious push forward, so if you're planning on upgrading to next gen, I'd say do it now rather than later and enjoy the fruits a little bit sooner. So that's my time ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys so much for watching, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below, are you guys excited for a brand new engine, and if so, do you believe that it will actually be a brand new engine? If you did like the video, please leave a like rank down below, any shares to your Facebook, Twitter, and or MySpace for your OG pad, always greatly appreciated. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe for the best of Call of Duty Advanced Warfare content, any news and information, you guys know exactly where to find it right here up on my channel so thank you guys once again so much for watching my name is Vinucola Espresso. press so as always if you guys are having a great day i shall see you guys tomorrow take care and peace Surprise, motherfucker. <laughs>